Dr. Groby News. Yeah, metal! Yeah! 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 April 25th, Ethan Mellish. April 26, 2006, and I'm Kira Brown. April 27th, Haley Eckert. April 28th, Michaela Wise. April 29th, Kaylee White. April 29th, Kia Facenti. Things happening around our school this week. Grade 5, last hat B-dose. Yes, we're done! Grade 4, LG3, scientist in school's presentation at 12.30. LG20 to the Galt Museum at 12.40 p.m. LG2, scientist in school presentations at 12.30 p.m. on the 26th. And grade 5 information evening at GS Lakey, 6 till 7 p.m. on the 26th. We're going to middle school. April 27th, hot lunch day. Eat a woohoo, I love my noodles. Also on the April, also on April 27th, LG1 scientists in schools presenta presentation at 12.30 p.m. Grade 4, LG8 scientists in school presentation at 12.30 12.30 p.m. p.m. April 29th, band, choir, concert in the gym. Thank you to Mrs. Dimnick, Mrs. Martins, Mrs. Boulay, and all the students who were involved in Rocky Mountain Book Awards this year. Here are the results. Number three, Finding Grace. This book is about a girl who writes letters to her imaginary friend. Find out what happens when you read it. Number two. The Boundless. This book only lost by two votes. This book is about a brother and a sister on a train that seems like it will never end. Read more to find out what happens on their journey. Our winner is Rocket Blues. This book is about a boy who is cut from his team because he is too short. Find out what else happens if you read. All of these books are awesome, but if you liked reading Rocket Blues, you should read The Last Shop. The sequel to our RMBA winner, Rocket Blue. Thank you, Mason Mattersdorfer, for showing us Chatterpix. What a cool app. Don't forget to get your Dr. Proby gear. The info on the website. Dr. Proby Sports Report. We are nearing the end of soccer season overseas in Europe. In the UEFA Champions League, we are through to the semifinals. Atletico Madrid are facing Bayern Munich at the Vincent Calderon on Wednesday, as Real Madrid are heading to Manchester to face Man City at the Etihad Stadium on Tuesday. In the NHL, best in the Western Conference is the Dallas Stars. The best in the East is the Washington Capitals. In the NBA, the Golden State Warriors broke the record with 73 wins and 9 losses. And here are some of the playoffs teams who are versing. There is the Raptors at Pacers and Golden State at Rockets. Let's see who wins. Golden State! Golden State! Hey, 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 aren't we from Canada? What about the Raptors in Jurassic Park? Nah. nah. Golden State! Golden State! In recognition of Earth Day, here's the joke of the week. What did the Earth say to the moon? I don't know. Lighten up. <laughs> Getting to know Dr. Proby School. Miss Thurston, what year did Dr. Proby School open? Uh, Dr. Proby School opened in 1992. Um, Mrs. Thurston, what were the original staff members who still work here? 
The original staff members that started in 1992 were beautiful Mrs. Manita Roloffs, Mrs. Michelle Dimnick, and of course the beautiful Mrs. Thurston. <laughs> She's still beautiful as the day she came into Dr. Proby. But I'm wise enough to know that he made that all up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the school when it first opened? Sure. There were about 180 students. There weren't, an, there weren't any buildings around except our school and a big empty field. Um, I remember one time when we found uh, rattlesnakes that had moved over to the school, close by the school, and we had to deal with all of those. That was exciting. Um, we also had wonderful, wonderful multi-age classrooms. So we had grades one and two together, two and three together, or three and four together, actually, five and six. The school went up to, from kindergarten to grade six at that time. Awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Thurston. Okay, okay you can stop. <laughs> this week's weather. Karen, hit him with the soccer kick. Leighton, hit him with the barrel roll. Luke, hit him with pie. 3.1415926. Tyson, Martin, hit him with a hockey game. Hello out there, we're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice.